Hello, everybody. I hope all of y'all are having a good day today. You know, I've been saying those words at the beginning of all of my videos for almost 10 years now. I can hardly believe that it's been almost 10 years since the night that God came to me and changed me, transformed me with his amazing, indescribable love. That moment is a moment that I will never forget. It's just as fresh today as though it just happened. And any time, day or night, it doesn't matter. If I need to feel God's presence, all I have to do is just be quiet, be still. And within just a few seconds, I'll, I'll get just overwhelmed with His love. He is always there with me. You know, I, I hear a lot of pastors before church services begin, I, I hear them invite the Holy Spirit to come in. And, and I always kind of laugh to myself and, and, and I say, why are you calling him? He's supposed to be there with you. I knew that night on June 14th of 2012, whenever God came to me, that, that God was going to do something amazing in my life. I just had no idea how amazing it was going to be. You know, I started off very, very small. I, I, my first video I, I posted on YouTube on 9-11 of 2012. The video that I posted was my testimony. And uh, before a hacker hacked my channel and took possession of it, um, that video had almost 300,000 views. So I, I, I look at, at what, God, what God did in my life, even before I came here to the Philippines, I had already reached hundreds of thousands of people. That hacker removed that uh, video, my testimony, but I still have lots of other videos that are still there, and some of my early videos were reaching thousands of people. And, and you know, at the time, I didn't think I was doing much. But I look back now and I see just how amazing God is and how he used technology to reach people. There's a lot of people out there that, that remember me from being in the, the storage room, the computer room in my mom and pop's house making videos there. And, um, you know, it seems like I was, I was there forever. Uh, sometimes I miss those times. I miss being there with my mom and pop and, and talking to them every day. But, but I am blessed to have Facebook Messenger and we video chat every day. But it's hard for me to believe now, looking back, that I've actually been here in the Philippines and working here in the Philippines with Future Love Ministries longer than I was there. And at the time, I kept thinking to myself, daily you know put me in coach put me in I'm ready I'm ready you know I had no idea that I was already in the game I see that I, I, I was just hungry to do more so today's video is is just to give a big shout out to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because everything in my life now is because of him future love ministries has reached 70,000 meals provided, over 25,000 articles of clothing. Lynn and I have preached and shared the love of God with, I, I couldn't tell you how many churches here. I'm just little old country me, a boy from Northeast Texas, no formal education. I was called to be a preacher. I was called to share this amazing love of God. You know, it's funny, I, I, I'm not big on titles. You know, I could care less about titles, but there's people that will not call me pastor because I hadn't been to Bible school. I've told a few people and, and trying not to offend, but, but I've told them, you know, that God calls some and some people just made a career choice. You see, when I look back on, on this uh, last almost 10 years, I can honestly tell you that, that none of this came from me. Whenever I boast, my boasting is in the Lord only and not about my works because 
Like I said, I had no formal education. I had never worked as a missionary. I didn't Google anything about missionaries. I didn't know the first thing in the world about feeding and clothing children and doing what we're doing now. That all come from that anointing that comes from the Holy Spirit that is there with me at all times. The same Spirit, the same love, the same anointing that transformed this broken man into who I am today. I can't express enough that it was love, 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 love that made all of this possible. God is love, and without that love, I would either be dead or in prison now. And I'll let you know right now, too, that whenever God has a plan for you, there is absolutely nothing that will get in your way and hinder you from accomplishing His goals in your life. I pray this upload, this video, has inspired you, has enlightened you. I love you all. God bless.